but I would have been the low tier hero with Donkey. Apparently, Donkey's like F tier. There's like an actual tier list. Like, uh, this, this game, like, I'm pretty sure Shrek's Super Slam. Yeah, I know. Donkey and Shrek are both bottom tier. Red Riding Hood is literally banned. What? She has like an insane. I guess she has like an insanely safe move that just combos into like her super or something, and it makes her broken. Like I guess there's actually like a low key like underground meta for that game. Anyway, um, anyways, we got uh, Princess Fiona versus. Um, I I don't have a comparison. I, I, don't, I don't even. I mean, I mean, Kirby looks like a character from Shrek. Oh yeah. For not sure, like for not sure. like any specific one. Just like he could. The, you could put Kirby in Shrek, and it would make sense. <laughs> um, the what was that? What was it? Uh, gingerbread. The gingerbread, gingerbread man. man? It, yeah, it's well, literally no. just like the what gingerbread the, man. What was the uh, gingerbread called, though? The actual gingerbread. The actual gingerbread? Yeah, that that one dude who's a liter literally a gingerbread cookie. Yeah, I think his name is just gingerbread man. No, the gingerbread man is who makes the cookie. I'm pretty sure. Gingy, it was Gingy. It was Gingy? I'm pretty sure okay. it was Gingy. Yeah, it, like, I, I, I think most of them are just, like, named after, like, the actual fairy, like, Puss in Boots. And no, Gingerbread Man was a, uh, was his own thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, Gingy, so yeah. I'm gonna go with Gingy. Well, Kirby is Gingy. That sounds like an anime character. Gingy. <laughs> Gingy! <laughs> Gingy, and probably some, uh, like, title like The, the Whirlwind. G Gingy the Whirlwind? <laughs> My new OC. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the match. Back to the match at hand. Komoda looking like an o the opposite of the set he played before. Um, really strong start from Ray. Uh, Komoda not really getting a chance to get in. This is where Komoda's or Kirby Komoda blah, blah, blah. the Ker Kirby's weakness comes in of not being able to approach very well. Yeah, yeah, especially against Rosa, right? And like, I don't know. I feel like this matchup was atrocious for Kirby, actually, just because like. Oh yeah, just that that giant wall. Yeah, there's no way to approach. Rosa kills early. Kirby hates characters that have like high base knockback moves that kill you with rage. Rosa is definitely one of those characters. Like, I feel like Kirby's one of those characters that Rosa could actually just kill at like 20 with an up air if she doesn't have rage. Kirby Kirby can die from a throw, which actually almost happened. And that, oh, that yeah. harsh stage spike. There isn't very much, um, if Kirby can't focus on destroying Luma, then he's not going to be able to get rid of that wall, and he's not doing what he needs to do to get rid of Luma. He's yeah, just oh trying my to go for guaranteed damage against Rosa. That, see, I think Ray set that up. I think that's the thing where um, you, like, rapid jab when you're on the ground, so Rosa can't actually do a move with Luma, but you're still in control of Luma. I think he set that up on purpose, so like that would cover what Komoda did. And Komoda's not really capitalizing off that time he had without Luma. Yeah. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's because Ray uh, made sure that Komoda was already in disadvantage. Yes, Ray. Ray is gonna do whatever he can to uh, just get away from Kirby. Ooh. Kirby's mobility is a little weak. It's one of the reasons why his approach game isn't that great. Uh, Kirby almost always has to approach like slowly in shield with crouches, walking. Kirby is always spinning around. Yeah, yeah, always. Yeah, I mean, true that, spin to win character. Spin to win. Sometimes uh, spinning isn't that easy though. Yeah, especially with a wall like Rosa's. Yes. Luma doing all the work. The real main character here. Um, this is a very... Oh, oh, yeah. That wasn't even a stage spike. There was no chance for there. Were, that was there. an actual spike. Yep. That's, I mean, that's another reason why that ma this matchup is just so difficult, because, like, that's a long, like, lingering spike. Yeah, Komoda tr tried, uh, killing Luma a bit too late into the match, because I'm not sure if you noticed, but, um, he was attacking ways that were, uh, supposed to hit Luma. Mm -hmm. Um, but he wasn't doing that early on in the match, and that really hurt him in the end there. Yeah. So... Dreamland. Uh, I'm guessing this is for the top platform, generally. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if oh, you want to yeah. see those top platform kills. You may see Duck Hunt, but I feel like at this point, um, Rayquaza's got enough experience where he knows just not to go under the Duck Hunt tree. Uh, this is going to be a little bit less gimmicky because the the point where Kirby Kirby's up throw kills at the lowest percent on this stage is literally center stage it's it's where you want to be if you want control 
and Rosa always wants to have that stage control. So if Komoda can actually like get in on uh, Rosa and you know um, get in that center stage where she's gonna yeah. want to be, it's it's really gonna uh, be scary for Ray, especially since Rosa is so light herself. I don't think she's quite as light as Kirby, but I believe these characters are both in like the top five lightest characters in the game. So it's pretty scary for Rosa. Oh, and that's gonna be the stock for Kirby. Yeah. Um, I feel like. Hmm. I really commend Komoda for yeah. like sticking to Kirby, even though this matchup is clearly like awful. I don't think the stage is uh, that bad for Rosa. It's really the I think the only thing that Komoda is trying to get here is the up throw. Uh huh. And I'm gonna call it now. If Komoda does happen to get Ray to the high, a high enough percent, it's probably gonna be like 90, 100 ish. Yes. If he gets the top platform, because. I know the lower platforms already simulate uh, Town City. Maybe it's a little oh, lower. Goodbye, Luma. Ooh, Ooh home run strike. Uh, anyways, but that top. Oh, he I tried. was about to pop off. I was about to like I'm not pop even sure off that would have killed from the commentator couch. I don't. I don't know. But if it hit, I probably still would have popped off. That was like a Bowser setup. Like when Bowser throws you in the air and then tries to oh, down yeah. B you. Oh no, that looked like uh, bad that DI. That was so. Plus, with that, that laggy down B, definitely sealed the deal. Yeah. See, like, sometimes you uh, you get caught.